Welcome everyone to Cedar Point. It is to the 2022 season and we are here at the park to see everything that they have new for this year. While they do not have a big roller coaster, they are still celebrating their 150th anniversary from last year. And we do have several other changes around the park that we're gonna be taking a look at and you can already see something's missing. Let's go see what it is. Well, this is certainly a different view. Here we are at Gatekeeper and we have work walls all over here. This is where one of the Wicked Twister Towers would be. And there's just nothing there. These work walls actually extend out onto the beach because they're doing a lot of work on whatever is going to be taking its place. One of the best ways to see the new progress on what will be coming to Cedar Point is from the top of Giant Wheel. Let's go for a ride. Many other parks in the Cedar Fair chain, Cedar Point is now cashless. And they do have a cash station in the park where you can convert everything onto a card so you can spend money here as if you were using your cash. Coasters Drive-In has received some rebranding. It is now Coasters Diner and it is looking absolutely fantastic. So has that kind of classic look but sporting all new colors. That blue is now red. Still got the cars out front. Uh, we will not be eating here today, so I am not sure if the actual food is different, but my guess would be probably. Here in the back of the park in Frontier Town, we have some of our biggest changes. Welcome to Big Cedar Farm, home of the farmhouse. This is an all new restaurant that is replacing the antique car ride that was here. So Cedar Point actually has two antique car rides, and so they took one of them out, and they put this giant new restaurant here. And we are gonna go try it out. But overall, first impressions, this area looks very nice. I'm very impressed. Lots of different outdoor seating areas here. And they do have a sign advertising Wild Frontier Nights. It's essentially ERT. Uh, costs over $100 to do, and we will be going. So you can check out a separate video on the channel all about it. This is what you see when you walk in. I like the stagecoach right there. You got some flowers and crates. We're entering the queue. You can see some diagrams for some other buildings. There's some theming up there. This is the chandelier. Look at that, it's antlers. There's campfire steak chili. There's some tortilla chips. Spiced corn ribs, sweet potato fries, red potatoes. Oh, I know what I'm getting. They literally offer steak here. Oh my gosh. It's on the meal plan. Like, that's amazing. All right, so we've had the chance to try everything right now. I think the potatoes are the big win for me. Those are fantastic. How's your sausage? It's pretty good. It's a, it's a little dry, but I like the flavor. It has like a little bit of a small spicy, spicy with that. I really, I really enjoy it. I think the steak's the best. Really juicy. And yeah. it's got a good flavor to it. Yeah, and chicken? It's good. Am I allowed to say more than that? Yes. It's really good. That was an absolutely delicious meal. I am so impressed with this place. Look at this. This is literally a horse bench. Like, what? On the side of the farmhouse, I think this was one of the bridges that they had specifically for the NT cars, but now it's a walking path. Yeah, you can just see how it goes over the water and everything. It's like a cutaway path to access this side of Frontier Town. One of the biggest new for 2022 things we got to talk about is the Frontier Festival, which is currently going on. We got some awesome decorations all around Frontier Town. It is running from May 26th through June 19th, so we're actually towards the tail end of it. It starts at 2 o'clock. And there's all sorts of cool things going on with this. Uh, one of the main ones is that kind of in the style of like a food and wine festival, you can get like a tasting ticket and then stop by some of the different booths. And they also just got lots of different decorations around. I mean, Frontier Town is looking absolutely fantastic. It's such a cool look. They have these like, always remind me of little pinwheels just all throughout the area. I think this is part of the Frontier Festival. They have all these different little stands around the park. Like this one right here is guitar picks. Here's all these cool little things so you can just hang around your house. Looks like they brought in a lot of third party places that just specialize in this sort of thing. That's so cool. Yeah, this area just feels completely different now. And the elephant in the room, Top Thrill Dragster work here at the entrance where we see a sign saying this attraction is closed for the 2022 season. Uh, this was done after an accident that happened last summer. Uh, the park made the decision not to open the ride for this year. And uh, we will hear about the ride's fate, uh, hopefully by the end of the year, maybe. Uh, hopefully it comes back, but honestly, 
who knows? I, I think its fate is probably up in there. So all is quiet over here. Uh, you're still allowed to walk in this entry plaza. Uh, the, the lockers are still available to use. They just have the normal barricade up here up front, so no one can walk in. In case anyone's wondering, there are no trains in the station or on the brake run or transfer. They're just nowhere to be seen. This is the only piece of merch we could find of Dragster. It's a yeah. Squishmallow. His name is Dash. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a t-shirt. All the rides at Cedar Point, except for Top Flow Dragster. All right, there you have it. Everything new at Cedar Point that we could find in 2022. You know, they didn't have a big new roller coaster this year. In fact, they just took out a roller coaster. And uh, with Dragster down, you know, that is uh, another attraction that's off the table. But there's still a lot that's going on, especially since they're still riding on the backs of uh, their 150th anniversary. So, I mean, it, the park is still looking fantastic. And I think more than ever, I'm really intrigued and, and also excited to see what happens in the future. I imagine 2023 is going to be a pretty cool year and uh, even 2024 in the years coming after. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.